What is up guys, Smobins here, and welcome back to Beancraft. Woohoo! We are back in the wonderful land, and we have our entire family here. Look at them, look how sweet they are. Aren't you sweet family? Yes, you are. And I've actually had a kind of an idea, which I'm not going to do this episode, uh, but in the future. Uh, my friend Yami has a sim series, where she's, which is called the 100 Baby Challenge, where she gets 100 babies, and... Uh, she puts them in the house and it's really hard to deal with. I was thinking of doing that in Beancraft or something similar uh, where I build a house and I just try and breed as many kids as possible. Uh, so what do you guys think of that? Should I do that? I think it could be pretty funny and it'd be pretty mental to have a hundred children around uh, just lying around in the house. I think that'd be hilarious. So uh, yeah, should I do that? Leave some comments for some names if you think so and uh, yeah, it'll be fun. So this episode though we are going to mess around with the T construct mod because we haven't done anything with that yet and I'm quite interested to start up like a little workshop back here somewhere as we have just this massive empty space at the moment in our house and it's not good. It is nicked so good. So yes, this is how we get started with Tinker Construct. Tinker Construct. So it has a book with a guide and I'm just going to read through this quickly because this will be boring. So let's see how it's done. Ew, daddy, you stink. Where have you been? That is a bit mean. Okay, so we are going to first off use get some wood here, which is nice and stuff. And we need to make ourselves some sticks. So that's fairly easy. There we go. We've got plenty of sticks now. And then we can start making some of these blank pattern things, which... We're going to need a, quite a few of to make the basic tools and stuff we need, which here are a few. One is a stencil table, part builder, and then I can't remember any of the other ones. And then you place that, and you get a tool station, and then finally that, and blank pattern to make a pattern chest. And we have a few tools that we need to get ourselves started, so I'm going to go put them around in this area over here, because it's going to be our, like, little... T construction workshop as it is. This one's a bit weird. We need ourselves a drying rack. I don't know how you place this down. Oh, can you place things on it? <gasps> wow! Cool. Okay, so the first thing we want to build is a pickaxe, but we need some more sticks before we can do that. And then we can place that there. And we get some more blank patterns, which we are going to need. What we do is we use our stencil table, those in there, and then we can get ourselves a pickaxe head pattern, a tool binding pattern, and finally we need a, a tool rod pattern. Easy as that. For those of you who don't like this sort of stuff, don't worry, I'm not going to be doing this all episode. I just want to try it out quickly because it just adds to the room. I'm going to decorate my house a bit after this. But yeah, here we go. So we need the pickaxe head. We place the iron in there and nothing happens. Or is it that way? Nope, that is wrong. Okay, I think you have to do it in a certain order. You can't go straight to iron. So you have to start with wood. So there's a wooden pickaxe head. And oh god, did I just throw that pattern away? I didn't mean to do that. Uh, and then we get ourselves a tool binding pattern and we take that and the stick like so. And then we place these in the chest because we don't need these right now. What we can do is we can go to our last table which is in the wrong place. We can go to our pickaxe and we place that, that and that. That's not right. And that. And we get a pickaxe which is just a wooden pickaxe. Which is very boring. But this pickaxe is a bit different because we can do some funky stuff with it. So let's go get some weird stuff from over here. But what we can do is we can place this in here. Place some lapis. And then place some... Oh, not at the same time. But place some lapis. And it gets a weird, a weird blue bit on the bottom, which is luck. And then we can place the red, which is haste. And then we get a really cool looking pickaxe. Look at that. So imagine that with iron. That would look so cool, but it is not a very good pickaxe at the moment. I just wanted to show you guys that because I thought that was pretty cool, and it's a mod that I have on this that I want to start trying out at some point. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Look and haste. So I'm going to start doing that to all my pickaxes and stuff and start building some cool pickaxes once I figure out how to actually do it. <laughs> but I actually added a new mod, and I know another mod to the list, Joel. What is this mod? And it is... DecoCraft. If we scroll down here in our list of items, we have 
loads and loads of things we can decorate our house with. Look at all of these. There's loads of stuff we can make. Now what we're going to make first is a grand piano. I just really fancy a grand piano, so we need lots of this crafting clay which is made of just dyes, dirt, and sand. So we can actually make that fairly easy. But first we need to sleep. Why is all my family down here? I need to stop them from staying. My wife has actually got a new baby. But we're not going to birth him just yet because we're going to start saving up for our baby challenges. Or maybe if I take him. Do I have to put them down before I can... Uh... Oh, I can't just procreate. Okay, so we got a new baby boy. I guess we're just going to put him down. Actually, no, we're not. We're not going to do that yet. I'm going to give him back to Cheryl to keep hold of him. We're going to go sleep. We have the piano out here. This is going to be a nice area. Also, my room's going to look so good once I can get loads of decorations in. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Decorating is like a really fun thing for me to do. So let's go get ourselves a load of dirt and some sand and stuff like that. So we've already got loads of dirt. We don't really need to go collect that. But sand is something we do actually have to collect. So I'm not going to take it from just here because I don't want to ruin this zone. So I'm going to move along a bit. A sandier place, which there's a sand biome over that way somewhere. Ah, yes. I think we have enough sand. Let's get a full stack. Ooh, and cactuses as well, as we can use these for the dye. Plenty and plenty of green dye, which I was actually going to be quite worried about getting, but now that we have found these cactuses, no, no trouble, no trouble. There we go. 64 bits of sand. Nicely done. Let's take this back. And we've actually got all these flowers in this flower biome as well. We've got quite a good setup here. We've got everything we need. Uh, for the piano, though, what do we actually need? Four blue, two red, and two green. And we can do that easily. Easy. We can make a piano a lot easier than I thought. Shame it's going to be made out of clay, so it's not going to be playable. But I can't even play the piano anyway, so I'm not really fussed by that. So one bit of lapis actually makes four bits of clay, I believe. Yes, it does. So there's our four blue clay. And we can make our red dyes with these... Pop, this poppy. Have some red clay, and then finally we need the green, which is here. Cactus green, there's plenty. Wow, we've got way too much green, okay. But to make the piano, where was it? Oh my god, I've lost it again. And where's our green? Why do we make so much green? Piano! Piano! Pia, pia, piano, piano, piano. Bang! Look at that, that looks just marvellous. It's a bit glitchy. Oh dear. It is very glitchy, but we won't touch it. Yes, there it is. Stuffed teddy. Let's see what this looks like. <gasps> it's adorable. We're going to place that in the kids' room. Actually, no, it's too cute for the kids. Sorry, Barry. This is going in my room. That's Barry. Who's that? That's Elsa? Oh, dear. Sorry, Elsa. Can I have my stuffed teddy next to my bed? Oh, look at that. That's adorable. Okay, the next one is going to be this knight statue. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, let's place that. Oh my god, that is magnificent. That is magnificent. Don't you think so, Mr. Banana Orange Pear? I do. I do. I've remembered blue, red there. Oh, I got the blue and the red the wrong way around. There we go. Bubblegum machine. Oh my god. The joys of Minecraft. Oh, yes. Oh yes, it doesn't give any bubble gum, but I'm okay with that because it just looks magnificent. Let's have a look at my room. It's starting to look a lot better, and we can actually start decorating the entire house now as well. Uh, we just got a piano there, that's a bit boring, but these I think you can get lamps with this. But we don't go for any boring old lamps, we go for this type of lamp, don't we? We go for a, it's not there, it's a lava lamp. Woo! Okay, um, I'm not sure if it's actually light stuff up. No, it does Oh, it does! Nice. Okay, let's oh, there and then turn it on. <gasps> Love lamp. The lights are actually really easy to make with this, which is awesome. So if I go on, let's have a look down here. Okay, so we can make a iron chandelier and place it on the ceiling. Oh my god, that's huge. Above our piano, which looks ridiculous. <laughs> let's be honest. Um, okay, maybe not place that there. Kind of looks okay. I'm kind of digging it. I can dig that. Where is Cheryl? I can't find her. Is she in here? Oh, there she is. She's sleeping. Give me my baby. Patrick Star 00 left a comment saying you should name a child Patrick and sing as it is a boy. He doesn't have a name. 
Ah, oh, sorry, that was Barry the second. Wait a second. Okay, now we're going to have a son called Patrick, if it's a boy. Oh, God, Cheryl. All right, come here. Wait. Your home is your home is here. Come here! And then Cheryl, give me a son, please. I don't want to no I don't want no daughter. Yeah, Cheryl. It's a boy! Yes! So Patrick! Here are you Patrick. My new baby boy, Patrick. Let's procreate again. Oh, you can't. Maybe I can get multiple wives and then procreate with all of them. Uh but yes, we're gonna give this guy a gift. There you go. Well, I've, I obviously have red hair because all my children always have red hair. Cheryl's hair's blonde and my I, I'm bald, I'm green. So I don't know what's going on with that. Cheryl's all awake now. I'm going to go to sleep. Cheryl just, she's cheating on me with that night. Can you see that? She is way too friendly. Way too friendly. Look at her. Oh my God, she's in his arms. Cheryl, she's glitched out in him. Cheryl. I, I had to do that for you, Cheryl. I had to do that. I'm disappointed in you. You've, met, you've let me down. I thought we had something special. Obviously not. Maybe I'll get a new wife. No, sorry, Elsa. I did not bring you anything. Where's our new son gone? Where's Barry the second? Oh, God. We've lost them. We've lost the children. They've not run away yet, so I presume they're all safe. Let's have a quick look at the animal situation in our barn. Are they all still alive? That is the question. Oh, they are. Hello, guys. You want some breeding, don't you? Ah, 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 ah. And you cows, you want to be bred as well, don't you? Nicely done. Now, have we got any seeds? No, we have not. We need to breed our chickens as well. We also need to get some carrots at some point so we can get some blamming pigs. Guess we better do some farming. Okay, sweet. We should have some leftover seeds here. Well, we've got quite a lot of leftover seeds. 41. So we can breed all the chickens. Okay, I'm coming in, guys. Yeah. Where's my chicken babies? Nice. Oh, oh, they're cute. We got all our little baby sheep as well. That's cute, and all our baby cows. Just need some pigs now. We've got a nice little barn going there. So, guys, thank you for watching this episode of Beancraft. We've got loads of stuff done. Added a new mod, added some more items. We're going to start decorating. We just run out of dyes and stuff, so we will continue to add more stuff over time. And, yes, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about the 100 baby challenge sort of thing. And leave me a comment in below with some names if I should do that. And I'll start on it next episode. Time lapse a house for it and it's going to be short. And I'll see you then. Guten Tag. No, that's hello. Goodbye. That's goodbye in English. Whoa! Whoa! I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Ah! Do it. Yes. There we go. Level 3 complete. How many levels? There was 12, wasn't there?